Is your name Leland? Hello Sycamore! Happy Thursday! Thank goodness map testing is over. Today is May 18th, 2023, and welcome to this second to last episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Sam. Hi, I'm Vector. We're so excited to be here with you on the daily video announcements. Now let's please stand, place our hand over our heart, and honor our amazing country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all, and please be seated. Remember, it is important to keep us safe. Make the right decisions, and as always, be PBIS responsible young adults. Be safe, be respectful, and be problem solvers. We have six days of school left. The 2022-23 school year is closing fast. Okay, mark your calendars. May 22nd is the band concert at the Sycamore High School. It takes place at 7 p.m. May 23rd, the orchestra concert for grades 5 to 7 at the Sycamore High School. This also takes place at 7 p.m. May 25th is the choir concert, also at the Sycamore High School, taking place at 6.30 p.m. And finally, May 26th is 8th grade day, as well as the last day of classes and the end of the fourth quarter. We have six days left, but lots going on, Sycamore. Next up, did you know? The oldest Yo Mama joke dates back to over 3,500 years ago. What? Really? Yeah, around 1,500 BCE, a student in ancient Babylon inscribed six riddles on the tablet. 3,500 years later, these proto-jokes lose a lot when translated. But one thing has been found. The Babylonians are saying something about your mother. Oh, what? <laughs> wow, that's a cool fact. Next up, National Day. Today is National Global Accessibility Awareness Day. Global Accessibility Awareness Day takes place every year on the third Tuesday of May. It's all about getting people thinking and talking about making the web accessible for those with different disabilities. Very interesting. Next, Next up, birthdays! Happy birthday to Catherine K, Hannah G, and Avut D. We all hope you have an amazing Sycamore birthday. Now over to Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily video announcements. All right, a lot of these are repeats. Make sure you're paying attention. We got a lot of last minute stuff as they're in out the school year. So first, eighth grade students taking accelerated world history at the high school next year. Please check the Sycamore Dis School District website to find out your summer reading assignments. <coughs> yes, you have work to do over the summer. Check that, no excuse. Find that and find out what you have to do. Eighth graders, our world renowned high school Juniper Robotics team is now accepting applications to join them for the 23-24 season. Check your email for the Juniper application link. Also, 7th and 8th grade robotics is for everyone. It's for creative marketing designers, informational video creators, technical writers illustrating design processes. Are they trying to get a bunch of hard work for in here for me to say? Engineering, notebook creators, programmers, robot builders, robot drivers, electrical engineers, mechanical engineers. <laughs> in a team-centered, student-led, gracious, professional environment. Sigmar Robotics Early Bird Registration is now open to save registration costs. If you're interested in STEAM, AI, robotics, advertising, marketing, etc., then the first FTC Robotics team is for you. All track athletes who have not turned in your track uniform, this must be completed by Friday or you'll receive an obligation notice for $35. Uniforms can be turned in to Mr. DeJoy in the Media Center. And all 7th and 8th grade boys and girls tennis players, there will be an important meeting for all of you, both 7th and 8th graders, Friday during Flex in the cafeteria. You must stop by Mr. Teets' room, that's 120, either Thursday or during the morning on Friday to get a pass. 7th and 8th grade boys and girls tennis players meeting during Flex on Friday in the cafeteria. That's it for me. I'm out of here. You guys enjoy your day. Have a good one, and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks, Mr. Harris. Next up, Mrs. Sun with awards from Chicago. Hi everyone, I am here to congratulate on behalf of Mr. Callahan and myself all of the treble tone, concert choir, and chorale kids who traveled to Chicago this past weekend for the Music in the Parks competition. We had a very successful weekend bringing home excellent and superior trophies. More importantly, 
our school was awarded the Esprit de Corps Award, which is given to the school that promotes and exemplifies the best professionalism, maturity, sportsmanship, behavior, etc. So we're super proud of that award as well. And um, I've got a couple of news crew kids here that went on the trip. So Violet, what was your favorite part of the trip? Uh, I really liked walking around Navy Pier and seeing the lake and the city. I thought that was really cool. Awesome. Sam, what did you like about the trip best? Um, I love getting to meet new people and getting to know people better. I mean, when you spend six hours on a bus with them, you're definitely going to get to know them better. Very true. It. And I think my favorite part of the trip is just seeing our kids um, doing their best both on and off stage. So thank you, Sycamore Singers, and congratulations. And see you later. Now it's time for the joke of the day. Why did the Biggle have a paparazzi? Hmm, how? He was a big deal, get it? Gabby, <laughs> 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 <That's, that's laughs> it was hilarious. I know. <laughs> be the best you can be, Sycamore, and follow PBIS expectations every day. Have a wonderful week, and go Waves!